Have you ever asked yourself um, what happened to Lazarus after Jesus raised him from the dead? <laughs> um, Lazarus, what, what really happened to him after Jesus raised him from the dead? And I was doing a study about this and I just uh, came across this because the Bible tells us about uh, the whole story of Lazarus in John uh one eleven verse one it says now a certain man was sick named lazarus of bethany the town of mary and our sister mother it was that mary which anointed the lord with ointment you remember that mary who anointed uh, uh, jesus with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair whose brother lazarus was sick therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, The sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Now Jesus loved mother and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard, therefore, he was sick, he abode two days in the same place where he was. Uh, then, after that, says he to his disciples, Let us go into Judea again. His disciples said unto him, Master, the Jews of late sought uh, to stone thee, and goest uh, thou uh, thither again. Jesus answered, and, uh, Are there not twelve hours in the day? Uh, if a man walk in the day, stumble not, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you know the story. I don't want to read all this. But uh, you understand that uh, Jesus rose Lazarus from the dead. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes. And his faith, uh, his face was bound with the napkin. Jesus said unto him, lose him, let him go. And, and stuff like that. You understand, you understand the story. Just, I was just giving a foundation about that. Okay, now let's come to this account. What really happened after Lazarus was raised from the dead? Jesus gives account of this man, Lazarus, being raised from the dead. And Lazarus was a friend of Jesus. You remember uh, <laughs> Jesus wept when uh, he found Lazarus dead. I, I, I don't know what Jesus wanted to mean with this, but I'll, I'll do a study. I'll check about that and I probably explain about the same because Lazarus was a friend of Jesus along with his sisters like we have read uh, Mary and Martha and uh, he had grown sick and his sisters had sent for Jesus to come to Bethany uh, but now Jesus delayed his arrival and uh, Lazarus died and Jesus did not arrive in Bethany until four days after Lazarus passed away now Martha was so much confused and uh she was hurt that jesus had allowed his friend lazarus to die because they were friends but uh, he told her jesus told uh, mary that uh, your brother will rise again remember in john eleven twenty three, don't worry your brother will rise again martha assumed probably jesus was referring to the final resurrection of the dead but uh, he was actually telling her of something that was going to happen momentarily. When uh, Jesus went to the place of uh, Lazarus' tomb, when he went there, uh, he had men roll away the stone from the opening. Then uh, Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! That is in, if you can go and check, uh, John eleven forty three. He said, Lazarus, come out! And the crowd around the tomb was shocked when the dead man, uh, w when this dead man hobbled out of the cave, uh, still bound with burial clothes. And uh, we understand that in verse 45 and 46, it tells us that many who saw this miracle believed in Jesus, but others reported it to the religious leaders, as always. <laughs> who the pharisees the pharisees now it was this miracle actually which sealed jesus's 
fate with the Pharisees and rulers. Because uh, the Bible tells us um, in verse 53 of uh, John, let me show you here, verse 53, <laughs> just see. Then from that day forth, they took counsel together to put him to death. So is this this account of Jesus raising, Nazar, uh, 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 raising Lazarus, which actually sealed Jesus' fate with the Pharisees of uh, them wanting to kill him. And uh, it was not only the life of Jesus that the Jewish leaders conspired to take. Only, not, 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 not only that, but uh, also of Lazarus as well. Also of Lazarus. Let's, uh, let, me, let me show you John 12, 10. Uh, John 12, uh, 10. Let me just open here. John 12, verse 10. It says they also wanted to kill Lazarus himself. <laughs> you see these Pharisees. See, but the chief priests consulted that they might put Lazarus also to death. They want to kill him again. But because that by that reason of him, many of the Jews went away and believed on Jesus. Now you see, these people, they want to kill Lazarus because of what? News travels fast, remember. And many people wanted to see the man who had been raised from the dead. And uh, being alarmed, the Pharisees called a meeting of the Sanhedrin, the ruling body of uh, Israel uh, by, by that time and also even now. Uh, most likely, I think uh, Lazarus was reciting his uh, resurrection experience over and over again, which resulted in the desperate decision of the Pharisees. They said, <laughs> definitely, this guy must die. He must die again. Because uh, in the darkened minds of the people, uh, of the temple leaders, Lazarus, this latest evidence of Jesus' claim to be the Messiah, had to go. Okay? And uh, after Lazarus, after Lazarus uh, was raised from the dead, he returned to the home he shared with Mary and Martha, that the Bible tells us that, okay, in John 12, from verse 1 to 2. He tells us he returned where he uh, who was living with uh, Mary and Martha. And he was present when Mary poured expensive perfume. You remember? He was present there. When Mary poured expensive perfume on Jesus' feet and wiped them with uh, her hair. And knowing the miracle Jesus had recently performed, we understand why Lazarus' sister was so overcome with gratitude that she would go to such extravagant lengths. I'm sure many people have never asked themselves why why Mary was doing this. Okay? Why uh, 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 she was doing this? Okay? Huh. Now, Lazarus, Lazarus may have been uh, his sister's only provider. The sister's only provider. And uh, his death could have meant poverty for them both. And Jesus had returned to them, not only the brother they had loved, but the protector and provider that they needed to survive. And uh, the Bible give us, gives us no uh, further information about Lazarus. Any additional details, uh, they, they stem out from uh, church history and may or may not be accurate. One tradition holds that uh, after Jesus' ascension back to heaven, Lazarus and his sisters moved to Cyprus where Lazarus became the bishop of uh, Kition, of Kition and died of natural causes in around uh, 63 AD. And uh, another theory claims that uh, Lazarus and his sisters moved to Gaul to preach uh, the gospel there. And uh, Lazarus became the bishop of uh, Marseille, where he was beheaded under the tyranny of uh, Emperor Domitian. But uh, whatever, whatever happened to Lazarus between his first resurrection uh, and his second death is, is unknown. Not many people knows, know, know that. But uh, we can be certain 
that uh, his physical body died a second time and we know that according to what the bible tells us in first corinthians 15 51 to 53 and uh, if he died a believer then he'll be raised on the last day of this age okay because the bible has told us about that and of course i i, I definitely know <laughs> you can be raised from the dead and you just say oh you won't be a believer no I know, I know, very sure that uh, Lazarus will be raised again from the dead to join all God's saints in eternity. So that's 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 what happened to Lazarus. If you're really wondering, I've done a small study for you so that you can be able to understand. And if you're still there and you don't know if you'll be raised on the last day, here's the gospel. The gospel is uh, all about understanding how that Christ died for our sins for our sins he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures you have to ask yourself how did jesus die he died by shedding his blood his blood he shed every dot of his blood drop of his blood from his veins why blood if jesus could have died of uh, drowning in water strangling electrocution could there be no salvation i don't think so why because uh the bible tells us in the book of hebrews that without shedding of blood there's no forgiveness of sins and jesus had to shed his blood why blood the bible says in the book of uh, uh leviticus 17 11 that the life of the flesh is in the blood and i've given you the blood upon the altar to make atonement for your souls for it is the blood that atones for the soul so my friends, it's not just any other ordinary blood. It's blood of an innocent being. You're guilty, I'm guilty, so we cannot atone for each other. It has to be someone who is guiltless like Jesus. So that's why 2,000 years ago, while we were still seen as Christ died for us, so that whosoever will believe in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. Do you believe that Jesus died for your sins? If you do, please, all you need to do is confess to Christ and tell him, Jesus, I believe that you died for my sins. You were buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. I received the payment of sin, the atonement by faith. And you only confess what you know. You don't confess what you don't know. Because confession, confession leads unto salvation. Okay? As the Bible says in the book of Romans. So, hope you've been blessed by this message if you enjoyed this video please give it a, a like and also you can uh, share the video so that many others can be able also to hear the good news and also as well you can subscribe and uh, hit the notification button so that you don't miss new videos which you post every day and uh in the description we have a couple of other channels that we post uh, videos please go and check and god bless you and have a good time